Bonaba. Ibona wena, son of Zulu. Can you know me? We have been waiting. I need your craft, Baba. For the forging of a weapon. Describe it. The head is larger than the normal spear. It's wider. And the shaft is shorter. I brought a goat as payment. Nandanim booze.
What is it? The nameless one. Only he can give the blade the power of its own. Tell him to come. As you possess this blade, it will possess you. So be it. of the blade speaks. No. The spirit of Shaga speaks. So be it, son of Zulu. Take this spear, and with it, let the sun cast your powers to the ends of this earth. had some thinking to do. Ah, so we have a thinker in our ranks, do we? And what have you been thinking about? Your behavior in the Kamini war, and you're making fools of me and my regiment? Yebo, Baba. Yebo, Yebo, Yebo what? Yes, that's what I was thinking about. And what conclusions did you finally reach, if any? I was foolish. Good, very good. I admire a man who admits when he's wrong. <laughs> I didn't say I was wrong, General. Just foolish. Where are your sandals? Oh, yes. I almost forgot. You lost them on the battlefield, did you? We can always provide you with others, you know. Or do they still slow you down? They do, sir. By the way, we won that war. Congratulations, General. Where are your spears, soldier? Or have you been thinking we ought to fight without weapons? No, sir. My weapon is here. 
So now, you think our three traditional weapons are too many, too long, and not good enough for you? Exactly, General. You put that very well. Allow me to show you something. Capella! Capella and Joe! I need two volunteers. Sheshani Matota, I said I need two volunteers. Choco! Tonga! Sheshan. Good. Would you mind joining them, General? All right. Kill me! Mbulale! I have no time for games! This is not a game, General. Come! I'm waiting! Don't just stand there like a pack of old women! Kill me! Old women? That way to Kabab? So God is! Nigga Zoom Kondola! Yeah! And that's what the ladder shields for, General. Tonga, Choco, you are not being cooperative. Dougie, you will. And moving closer, man to man. Contact. Lock the enemy's shield, exposing his flank, and aim for the heart. I'm yourself, General. Spear! Shield! Are you ready, General? Ready! Contact! If I... Hook the enemy shield! Aim yeah. for the heart! What is this? A game? For the lack of a better word, General. We call it war. E B. He just isn't made for military life. I've done what I could. He just doesn't know the meaning of the word discipline. Besides, he saw yourself on the battlefield. He is totally irresponsible. Guter. Does this new method of his work? It's hard to tell, but I think it's worth trying. Worth trying? Oh, yes! Worth trying if you want to turn my men into killers. There's always been a fine distinction between soldiering and killing, General. Many would say that soldiers are killers. Only if killing is in the best interest of victory. So far, we have been victorious in all our battles, with virtually no bloodshed. Now, I don't see why we should change a winning strategy. Yet, there may be times when new techniques are useful. What if you went into battle and found that your enemy is fighting differently, not according to regulations? That couldn't happen. Our honor prohibits it. The enemy cannot start fighting any way it wants to. Warfare would turn into a disorganized fast. No, Ngozi, there's only one way to fight. Try it and test it. And what if it did happen? It may change the course of the battle. Not so? Most likely. In other words, fighting differently might possibly help win a war. Without a doubt, when Oshang. I suggest a reserve unit equipped with new strategy. When would you like to test it in Kosiamakose? Against the Butelezes, they declared war. The Butelezes? But they are no threat to us. Uh, I think the rumor of an alliance between the Butelezes and the Zulus might be true. It would be well to be prepared. About how many men would you want at the brigade when I come cool? Fifty, I would say. To start with, all volunteers. They usually make the best soldiers. Do you think Shaga can raise that much support? Mm -mm. Ha! <laughs> oh, yes. Good. Then proceed on this as soon as possible. Because you're Shaga. Omane.
We know what time. You boys. And what was that all about? For once, General, I think the trial and tested has been overruled. Hmm. I can't hold it! <laughs> All right, man. Who's it going to be? I only need 50 of you, for the time being, that is. Strategy, speed, and physical contact. The leopard hunts, waiting for the best moment to strike. Next, he uses his speed to outrun the victim. And finally, physical contact. When he sinks his fangs into the impala's throat. Our strategy is ludicrous. We go out of our way to make our presence known. And our warfare has no physical contact and no close combat. In fact, we toss away our weapons, hoping that the enemy will be courteous enough to return them to us. Our strategy will come later. Let's start with speed. Take off your sandals! In return for your dedication, I promise you glory. If anyone here feels that Bruce Peter too high a price to pay for glory, he must say so now. Run! I have a feeling we were better off with Boozer. At least he respected a man's right to be lazy. Give him a chance. He's just started. That's what I'm afraid of. Kuma wetu, wata wetu, kuma, kuma, musu bai pila. Kutuma, keshani na lama pila na lawa. Wata, kichema, toshiche, kichela. Keshani wata, hamu toshe, kichema. Tosha, uya. Kichema, run. We are the separate things that join to make the backbone of an animal. In combat. We are one person, one mind. Fuga, fuga, fuga and fuga in. Sugala, hamba, then Charlie. Sugala, aban. Shall I go now? Waza, kichema! Waza wetu! 
c'ho la fase, c'ho la gona, c'ho la gona, cosa, su a vetu, amba, amba, cosa vetu. Let's go through it again. Twenty men in the center, displayed in four rows of five. They make up the head of the formation. The two groups of 15 men each, our fastest runners, will be the horns. The head will advance first, with the horns hidden behind it. That's phase one. Then when I give the word, the horns will sweep out on both sides. That's phase two. Phase three, the horns will encircle the enemy and close in. Is that clear? Then let's try it. Shonakona! Cheshawana Kisha Kisha! Phase one! We are ready. so much hate that he would form an alliance with an enemy and go to war in order to kill his own son. Now, 
Let's see if war is still the game they want it to be. With this one battle, Shaka had reshaped the form of African warfare. Never again would battles in this region of the continent be the same. For Shaka was about to begin what was to become known as the Umfaklani, a reign of terror that would be unparalleled in Africa's turbulent history. <laughs> Do you remember Mfunda? You know how she died? Starvation and exhaustion. A slow, painful way to die. 
especially for an old woman. Her death could have been avoided if someone hadn't been our grave, forcing her to become an outcast. Where is your spirit? <laughs> what would you do if she had been your grandmother? No, hmm? Approve of me, Makedama? No, Shaka. I disapprove of the great Sagiti, the man who fights like a million. You were kind to my mother and me, and I won't forget that. I'll not kill you or your people. I'm glad to see that you have grown in the ways of justice. I wonder how many see you for what you really are, a killer. A killer who's contaminated his armies with his own cold-blooded thirst for revenge. Building the Mdeta Confederacy is a pretense. The wars you wage are, in fact, very private and concern only a chosen few. Each of your battles is a trial in which the enemy is condemned to death having caused your family hardship. Each village you bend to the ground is the home you were denied. Each man whose lungs you burst open is responsible for Nandi's suffering. Stop it, Shaka! Your thirst for revenge has already been quenched a million times over. Sigidi! <laughs> best for revenge against you and your people he is now quenched, Makedama. Amal! Leave us now. Please leave us now. Let's 
Has he named the successor? Sikujana. The least likely candidate. Even in death, he has shown weakness. I'm sorry, Shah. Why should you be sorry, Baba? That man's death works to my advantage. He was your father. Bloodline. They're always demanding our allegiance. My conception was a moment of pleasure for him and the beginning of a lifelong struggle for me. If I have tears, I'll shed them for myself, not for my father. Shaga. How many regiments will you take to Eskebeni? Are you implying that I march in and take the throne? I am certainly not one to keep a man from his destiny. I'll need someone to officiate as prime minister at my coronation. I obviously can't use Muli. He just as soon stabbed me with the royal assegai as handed over to me. Gomane, would you do me the honor? It would be my pleasure. Go. When are we zoo?
Ascensio is Magate. Behold the everlasting spear from generation to generation. Nabisha! In the name of all that is sacred, leave this crawl now! Does my present frighten you, Elder? Or is it your guilt that prevents your allegiance? Your regiments cannot win my allegiance, Staka! Son of Nandi! Senzangakona Gajamasul! The true descendant of Suluga Malandel has detected his choice. I will defend that decision with my life. I will not allow you to defile the divine rituals of my tribe. Now lift this crow. Now! Skujana. Kill this man. He has insulted the king. Now, there will be darkness. I pray that the ancestors will preserve and protect our tribe and safeguard the past as it was. Nothing will be as it was ever again. Now, kill him. Uchan, do you acknowledge me as your king? Yes. Yes, Yag. You are my lord, my master. Then you're a fool.
Is there anyone here who wishes to disapprove this decision? No one speaks. Waiting on. Wimshang on. Then, salute your king. When I went over. 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 Besides this man, mother, is there anyone else here who has offended you? be asking themselves, what is Shaga? Where is he going? What does he want? And what does he want? Oh, the Zulengo man. There'll be but one reality, war. And when there are no wars, I'll create them, go Ha, ha, My chronicle of Shaka's life and his rise to power was almost complete. But that extraordinary story was soon to be enhanced by events which were now to take over our lives. Oh, yeah. 
Wom, 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 wom.